Hey everyone, uh, Joe here. So uh, I decided to. So I'm just gonna. Uh, so before I. So I just watched. Uh, sorry. Uh, so I just watched uh, Dragon Ball Super Episode 33, right? I'm gonna review that. But before I do that, though, just gonna give my quick thoughts on Episode 32 since I was busy, really busy as hell last week, so I couldn't. I, I didn't get the time to review that. Uh, although I did see it, so I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown of what happened. Basically. So episode 32 was more or less just an introductory episode, right? We got introduced to Monaka, we got introduced to uh, Team Champa, the fighters on Champa's team. Uh, if you guys watch my video uh, explaining my thoughts on Team Gears and Team Champa, you'll know <clears throat> how I feel about the designs and stuff like that. So just, just go to that video for my thoughts on uh, stuff like that, uh, about how they look and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, you know, this episode was pretty good, you know. Uh, it wasn't, uh, nothing really happened since, again, it was just an introductory episode, but it was alright enough as it is. Uh, there were a few weird moments I noticed, though. It was like, it opened up with Mr. Popo and Dende playing tennis, uh, before it cut to Goku and Vegeta training in the hyperbolic time chamber. Uh, I thought that was kind of a weird way to open up the episode. Just, I don't know, like, why, why Mr. Popo and Dende playing tennis? But yeah. <laughs> Uh, but it was also, like, Goku, like, randomly punching Monaka, like, right the hell out of nowhere. Like, why did he do that? I mean, Monaka was just walking by him casually, and Goku, like, couldn't resist the urge to punch him. Uh, and then he says, like, oh, I wanted to see if he could dodge it or something like that. Like, I don't know, that was just a weird moment. I also noticed there was a lot of bathroom humor in this, too, in episode 32. Uh, stuff like Majin Buu farting and stuff like that, but I didn't notice in any of the other episodes. Um, not really, uh good or bad thing, just something I noticed, a little observation, um, but yeah, 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 okay, so, and we found out some stuff about Universe 6 in this episode, too, the Saiyans are apparently good people in Universe 6, uh, they're a force for good, um, so is Frost, Freeze's, uh, counterpart is also a good person, and this'll be explored, this was explored more deeply in episode, in episode 33, but anyway, so yeah, those are my thoughts on episode 32, uh, I like what we got to see more, hear more, get more information about Universe 6, and, uh, yeah. Aside from a few weird moments, I thought it was a good episode, but anyway, okay, that's enough about that, okay. Moving on. Um, go, uh, so episode 33 was, you know, it was, uh, it was really good to see the emphasis on, the, like, tournament fights and stuff like that. We haven't gotten a good tournament fight in a long time, so I was really looking forward to this episode. Uh, and I gotta say, in terms of fighting and in terms of, uh, just, 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 just kept capturing my attention, you know, it really did deliver. Goku versus Batamo was an interesting fight, you know. It was kind of funny seeing Goku struggle against a, a giant, like, a golden, a golden, uh, uh, teddy bear of sorts, but... Yeah, but anyway, um, I did like in that Goku versus the Tamo fight, though, I did like how it explored, uh, Goku's more tactical side, like, he actually uses his head, like, um, see, like, a lot of people say, oh, Goku's a dumbass and stuff like that, which I don't, I disagree with, I think he does have a very tactical side to his character that's shown when he fights, especially, and in this episode, it's, it's actually shown to that he's pretty, uh, pretty smart when it comes to battle strategy, he's, able to, he was able to find, to figure out a way to beat Botamo by knocking him out of a ring by, like, lift, like lifting up his legs, because he, because he couldn't uh, damage him with any physical attacks, he, like, like, um, he, he carried him on his back, and then he just, like, threw him out the, like, threw him off the, 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 the stage, right? So, um, that was quick thinking on his part, it was a simple move to make, but it was still pretty quick thinking on his part, that was pretty cool. Um... Yeah, so, uh, so, so, a Goku versus Botamo was, uh, nothing really big happened, it was just Goku beating up Botamo and stuff like that, but then we get into Goku versus Frost, Frieza's Universe 6 counterpart, and, um, I gotta say, you know, uh, it was really weird, considering Frost is just such a nice guy, and, but he looks so much like Frieza, it's just really weird for me to see that, to see how nice he was in this episode, he, he was polite to Goku. He was even polite to the, the Z fighters that were on the that were watching on the sidelines. He was like, "I'm really." He said something like along the lines of, "I'm really sorry that you know we have to be introduced uh, together in this way, you know, being enemies in the tournament." But I do hope that we can get along later on. Something like that, just off of that, uh, just 
I'm, I'm just paraphrasing, but that's something along the lines of what he said, and that was, I don't know, I mean, it's funny seeing someone who looks so much like Frieza act like the complete opposite of him, but at the same time, it's a little disconcerting, you know, it's like, maybe I'm the only one who thinks that, I don't mind it per se, but it's just, it's just, you know, it's just weird, but anyway, okay, anyway, Goku versus Frost, okay, Goku versus Frost, you know, I like how that fight, I like the animation during that fight, you know, uh, the key blast and everything, the... The, the, the Kamehameha, the hand-to-hand -hand combat was really neatly choreographed. I thought of, the animation was a lot smoother than what we saw in previous episodes, particularly the Resurrection F arc. I thought this was much, the animation was much better done here. Um, I also think that, uh, you know, it, it's also interesting to see Frost's profession, how he's apparently part of a, a peacekeeping, uh, 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 peacekeeping core that goes around the universe and helps defend planets from uh, warmongers or yeah, barbarians who want to wage war, right? And again, this is, this is total opposite of what Frieza does. Frieza creates war, Frost ends war, and that's just... I just I appreciate the contrast, but maybe a little weird, maybe a little, a little, just a little hard to get used to, but I'll get used to it. You know, it was interesting. Uh, and at one point, Goku... Uh, so, so later on in the fight, Goku urges him to transform, right? And we learn that, that, and so Frost transforms into what is essentially Frieza's third form, right? And we learn that that form is his assault form that he uses in battle. That was interesting to know. Um, but then later on in the fight, Goku urges him to transform into his actual final form, uh, because, and this is another, uh, example of Goku using his tactical side, Goku says that he suspects Frost is reserving his power is isn't giving it his all, isn't using his full power in battle so that he can save that power for later on in other matches, um, which Goku himself was planning on doing. So Goku then transforms to a Super Saiyan, um, and then Frost reluctantly transforms into his final form, and then we learned that the reason Frost didn't transform into his final form to begin with was not because of what Goku said, that he would be, but that he would wanted to preserve his energy uh, although that was a good guess, but it wasn't said because he he doesn't want he can't control his power in that form. And I like how they remember that. I like how they remember that the reason Frieza does not transform, does not use his final form so often, is that him, un, uh, unlike Cooler, he can't he he can't control that power. Uh, so I am glad they remembered that that Frieza's final form was had power, but he was unable to um control. And I'm glad they used that for Frost too, because that was a that was a neat little callback to um to uh, to uh to uh, Frieza's race and how Frieza did things and stuff like that and that was that was that was that was neat that was uh, I appreciated the debate through that in there. Um, so yeah, so Goku and Frost continue to fight and uh Goku and Frost and the more they fight, the more the more we learn of how Frost of why Frost is fighting. He's fighting because he wants Shampa's assistance in keeping peace throughout the galaxy, which Kind of odd to ask a god of destruction map, but oh well. Um, and you know, the more he's struggling, the more everyone's sympathizing with him with Frost because he's fighting for something good, and Goku is also sympathizing with him. And you know, and he can't really bear to to let Frost lose in in battle. And then, uh, in what was. Uh, semi and a pretty a pretty interesting interesting twist even though we all knew it would happen anyway goku allows himself to lose by pretending that frost's uh that Fro so when so okay yeah so like frost punches him right goku pretends like it's a major critical hit and then he allows enough time for frost to knock him out of a ring right so goku lets himself lose he lets frost win and all i gotta say is Piccolo hype, piccolo hype, piccolo hype, piccolo hype, because oh my god, okay. The next episode is Piccolo vs. Frost, waging everything on the Mankasa, the Mankasa, the, the Special Beam Cannon, however the fuck you say it in the Japanese version, but anyway. So yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to Piccolo vs. Frost in the next episode, um, even though I do kind of like, even though like Goku and the, the others, I am kind of sympathetic towards Frost, I am, I do kind of feel bad for him. But I really hope Piccolo wins this fight because it's been so long since he's gotten a good fight, man. It's, 
I don't think he's had like a big fight since Android 17. And, you know, for him to, to, to join the tournament, if he loses, I'm going to be so pissed if he loses. Man, I'm going to be so pissed if he loses that, 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 that fight next episode. I'm going to be like, oh, man, I'm going to be so bad. I'm just going to be so, so mad. But, yeah, anyway. Okay. So, okay, so, yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm really hoping that Pickle is my favorite character, like, in the entire series, right? So, you can tell, like, I'm really excited for, I'm really excited slash nervous for the next episode. I'm hoping that Piccolo wins. I'm hoping that they can pull something off, that he can pull something off. I'm hoping that the special beam cannon will, will do the trick, but yeah. So that was episode 33. Um, pretty good episode, good episode. Nice to get a good old-fashioned tournament fight like we had back in the old Dragon Ball days. You know, it was a... Uh, uh, the animation was pretty stellar. Uh, like I said, the animation was pretty stellar compared to previous episodes. Um, and uh, I, I'm, I give it a... I guess I, I give it a 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10, pretty good. I liked it. I liked it, and I hope you did too. Um. Oh, oh uh, all right. Uh, uh, going back to episode thirty-two of the beginning of this video, I forgot to mention um two other things I liked about that episode. Uh, Kabito Kai defusing into Kabito and Supreme Kai because I preferred Supreme Kai's old uh old um design to his newer design, like to his Kabito Kai with the wavy hair and stuff like that. I just think the mohawk uh, is better is a better fit for Supreme Kai. Um, and, and plus I kind of miss Kabito too, so it was, it was nice to have him back. And two, that Anthem thing, okay, at one point before the tournament starts in episode 32, they have like, they're going to announce like, there's like a galactic anthem that plays, right? And we're gonna have like this little penguin dude sing it, and then there's like this huge choir and everything, and it's gonna, and we're acting like it's gonna be a really big, amazing song, right? But then it just turns out to be, like, one line about how vast the universe is. And, of course, okay, that, that, that anthem at the end of episode 32, that, that was really funny before the tournament started. That, that was so funny. That was the best part of the entire episode. Oh, yeah, and Goku and Vegeta's beards and stuff like that. But yeah, that was, that, that, was, uh, that was pretty funny, too. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Peace. Have a nice day.